Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. This is your look ahead, updated on Sunday the 1st of June. And just a quick look through the charts uh, for the next couple of days. There's today, ridge of high pressure across the south. Monday sees this front moving in from the uh, west. It is going to be bringing some showery outbreaks of rain with it. A um, bit of uncertainty over exactly how much showery rain there is associated with that feature. Uh, but I think most places do look as if they'll see something during the course of Monday as that front tracks its way eastwards. Then on to Tuesday, and uh, the front will be moving its way further east during the course of Tuesday. It leaves some showery outbreaks of rain uh, across eastern parts of the country, probably during Tuesday morning into the early afternoon. Some of those becoming quite heavy. I think really what that's going to do generally is just indicate where the line of heavy is showers are like to be off towards more eastern areas. A few showers coming into the west but much drier uh, in the west as that front clears. Wednesday um, low pressure centred across Scotland looks as if we'll see some rain up through Scotland during the course of Wednesday with that low pressure close by but a mix of sunshine and showers elsewhere but we need to watch this backbone feature here coming into South West Scotland and Northern Ireland just for some heavier periods of rain around this sort of zone but elsewhere it's sunshine and showers. Probably not that many of them actually for the south. Thursday then sees a ridge of high pressure building in during the course of Thursday and looks as if that brings a drier day for Thursday for many. Some good spells of sunshine uh, particularly across the north. Maybe one or two showers though across the northern areas running through North Wales, Northern England and into Scotland as well. Now Beyond that, um, interesting developments taking place, some discrepancies between the models as to exactly what happens here. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, take you to the WeatherWeb site and just uh, show you exactly what's going on with the pattern at the moment. If we go to uh, WeatherWeb and then click on charts here, look, and then scroll down the page, um, that's the ECMWF charts, and I want to show you these because... If we click on next, the dates are up in the top part of the screen there. Let me just highlight off those for you. And uh, here are the dates look there as to uh, what we refer to here. So this is the 4th of June. So this is, uh, what are we looking at here? We are looking at at uh, Wednesday the 4th of June and there's the low pressure area look stuck towards the west of the country now watch what happens that low um, sort of migrates west of the country and by the 6th by Friday so we've got a high pressure area just kind of trying to get back in this weak ridge here is trying to build back into the country so that ridge there it's trying to build back in and it tries to get dry weather in through the course of Friday across eastern areas but out towards the west we've got a front that brings some rain down through more western parts of the country now into the weekend current thoughts are that that low slip southwards look and what we find happening is here's our ridge you see it there building northwards this is constantly pumping warm air north like so coming in off the continent warm air from the med and this feature here this low uh, is warming through so what we find by uh, the time we're getting into Sunday is the ECM2F wants to keep this low in position here, wants to keep this trough in place. And what it tries to do is to give it a, a, some food, basically feed it with this second feature coming off the eastern coast of the States. It loses this ridge and builds the ridge around the north look. But I'm not sure that's going to happen because this is still continuing to build warm air northwards. And then what it tries to do into the following week is to keep the ridge towards the east, but cold air injected into this trough deepens the low, keeps it out towards the west. We get high pressure off towards the east, and then what it tries to do is to develop that low again look as a feature sat over the UK. Now, I don't think that's the way this pattern is going to uh, work out. What I think is going to happen, what I think is more likely, if we just go past back a couple of days, okay, I think that's good. So this is the chart for next Saturday. And I think what will tend to happen is that whole feature is going to be a little bit further south. It's going to be down here. So I think the pattern probably ends up more like that, or at least the uh, 500 millibar pattern probably ends up more in that shape. Now, what that does is it keeps the 
uh, high over the UK or close to the north and the east of the UK for longer. And I think that's the pattern that's going to ensue. Now, what then would tend to happen is that we're probably going to feed of cooler air trying to get into this system here and feed it all the time. But I think what, what tends to transpire from this is that instead of the low getting back northwards such as that into that, I think what the low tends to do or what it will have a tendency to do is to sit further south somewhere in here and for that high to build across the top here still with the high across Eastern Europe but with this feed feeding in warming this through all the time which means that your low stays down here. Now implications for the UK weather is probably that the north of the country stays in the uh, dry conditions, so sort of Scotland, parts of northern England. The south is in rain at times. Now, we need to watch, because if those low do stay further south, then it could be that southern parts of the country are actually uh, fairly wet for uh, some time, running into that week, so the week of the 8th and the uh, and the 9th. Now, I did say to watch the period the 10th as well for... The potential for um, things to be um, uh, drying up slightly. Excuse the weather wolf there, just um, putting you his bit. Um, and I'm still, you know, still thinking about that. Still thinking about the possibility of that taking place. Um, this is the total rainfall for Europe um, for the period ended uh, next Sunday. And you can see it's trying to put most through the UK, it's trying to put most across central and eastern parts of Europe. And kind of that's believable, but I, I, I can't help thinking that probable rainfall totals the most are probably going to be through that sort of zone there during the next week. And as I say, what we need to do is to watch this period from about the uh, 10th onwards just to see exactly what happens. Now, um, another set of interesting charts. This is the uh, e the CFS uh, forecast for week one and week two. So what this is trying to do here, look, is into week two, which is this chart at the bottom here. You've got to turn your head around for these because they're upside down. But what it's trying to do is lower heights here, build heights out here, look, and it's trying to get the trough into the Atlantic uh, keep it in there, do a flow something like that, so the wet, the east of the country always fares better with some rain across the east. So it is trying to see this idea of the potential for some dry weather coming through during the course of that week. And if we just go on to the uh, week three forecast, you see it, it falls into this idea of bringing low pressure back over the country, bringing more unsettled conditions, and it actually does that as well. Uh, for uh, week four. So there it is in week four. Look, still got that low close by out towards the uh, west, high pressure towards the east, and we're back in this sort of flow again, pumping some outbreaks of rain into the country. So uh, where are we going to go with this? I know it's a bit of a rambling one, this one, but I, I, I think... We need to look at the possibility of this period still between the 10th and the 15th as being drier and then going more and settled after. Uh, I think really June's going to end up as quite a remarkable, an unremarkable month, you know, fairly mixed. We'll get some periods of dry weather. It'll be quite warm. There'll be rain around at times. And I think we'll look back and probably forget June 2014 because it will be not one thing nor the other. Um, but of course, I'll uh, keep you updated right the way through here at weatherweb.net. So I'll leave you for that for now, but uh, once again, thanks for watching and whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining and bye for now.